welcome everyone to this another session of our ICT training. At this time, I will be demonstrating to you how we are to perform screen recording. So we shall be using the Microsoft PowerPoint uh, application. And uh, if you are to apply this feature, so I think they are only available or this feature is only available from uh, PowerPoint 2013 version and higher. Okay, so let's try to uh, start with this uh, screen recording activity. So we'll first have to, I mean, we first have to open our presentation created in a PowerPoint uh, program. So suppose I want to perform a screen recording in this uh, presentation. I want to record my lecture so that I'll be able to uh, explain or have an online class to my students asynchronously, okay? So make sure that uh, you, you have the required version of a PowerPoint for you to perform this activity. So we first have to go to insert the ribbon, then select or look for screen recording uh, button, then click at screen recording. So this setting of a screen recording uh, feature will appear. You are to enable the, the pointer or the mouse pointer by clicking or just uh, leaving it this way, okay? Because the default setting is already set to enabled. That means the, the screen recording will also record your mouse pointer. Also the audio. That means you can have the narration of your presentation because the audio is already set to on or is already enabled. Then if you are to start recording, you are to just click at the record button here. And if you want to select areas only of your windows where you want to start the recording, you can do so. You can just select the area. Okay, but if you want to select the whole screen, just click again, select area, then uh, select the whole screen. Okay, so to start the recording, you are to click at the record button here, then it will have a counter. Okay, so this is already recorded. I will now perform my presentation to my class. Hello class, at this time we shall perform a presentation designing activity in our PowerPoint application. So what we are to have in this activity is to consider its interactivity, okay, or the interactivity of our presentation. So we are to start with the content, followed by the design, then we shall create a home slide of our presentation, link the slides, then we are to always contain a link back to each slide in our presentation. Okay, so let's now end this uh, screen recording. If you want to stop the recording, you are to just position your pointer here at the top part of our window. Then the settings will appear. You can uh, pause if you want to post the recording. And if you want to continue recording, just have to click again the button. But if you want to stop recording, you have to just click the stop recording button here. Then it will be displayed or the screen, the recorded screen will be displayed in the slide or in your first slide. Okay, so let's try to check if it is recorded the way it is. Let's play the video. Okay, so this is already recorded. I will now perform my presentation to my... Hello class, at this time we shall perform a presentation. Okay, so since there are part of the video which I don't want to include in my lecture, okay, so especially at the very beginning, and at the end part, maybe I want to cut some part of the video. I have to do some uh, editing, okay? So I will, to edit or to trim the, the video, you have to click at the screen, record, uh, the, the video here first, 
Okay, we have to first click the video, then click at the playback. Okay, uh, playback ribbon. Click trim video. Then we are to start trimming the video by dragging this handle. Okay, so I'll only set it to where I want the video to start. And then uh, also consider the ending. I don't want the, the last part to be recorded. I want only until, until here. Okay, so let's try to play. Mission designing activity. Okay, I want to move more. Or, okay, if you are done, PowerPoint application. So if you are so done, one, okay, I want to start here. We are to have in this. Okay, so if you are done, just click OK. It will be uh, set into that part of the video also all, uh, only. So let's play. We are to have in this activity is to consider its interactivity, okay, or the interactivity of our presentation. So we are to start with the content, followed by the design. Then we shall create a home slide of our. Okay, so. That's it. That's how we are to do the adding of a screen recording in our presentation. But if you want to save this uh, screen record uh, uh, file as a single file or as a video or as a media file, we have to right click on the media or on the video, then click save as, then try to save it. Let's see, uh, lecture demo. The file name is lecture demo. Save it in my documents. Okay, click save. So I want now to open, I want now to open that file from my documents. So this is the video that I've saved earlier. Click to open. Okay, so this is already recorded. I will now perform my presentation to my class. Okay, so that's Hello it. class. At this time, we shall perform a presentation designing activity in our... Okay, so that's it. So this is already the recorded video saved as a media file from a PowerPoint application. So if you want to record your lecture for your online class, you can make use this feature of the Microsoft PowerPoint application so that you'll be able to reach out to your students and let them feel your teaching presence online. Okay, so I hope you've learned from this uh, uh, training. And if you have some more questions as to how this program works or as to how this feature works, you can always uh, uh, reach us out, okay? So, or message me. I'll always be willing to help you in terms of your online teaching. Okay, so God bless everyone. Thank you for bearing with me. Keep safe.